uh, recursion or something, something like that. That kind of a screen. Okay. Recursive. So, same image. Same image. It shows. Okay. Let us start. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So today, our objective is to uh, sort uh -huh. uh, an array of element mm -hmm. using the different algorithm. Like yesterday, we discussed like a selection sort algorithm. Today, mm -hmm. we'll discuss about the bubble sort algorithms, right? Okay. okay. So let's first understand how this sorting works, and then we are going to implement. Okay. Sure. Sure. So let us we have a array of element. Mm -hmm. Okay. An array of element might be some element. Let's uh, this is a five, three, six, a seven. Let's mm -hmm. do right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make uh, sort this element, mm -hmm. okay. So uh, objective is that if finally we can get output like this: two, mm -hmm. three, five, six, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. seven. Right. Mm -hmm. This is the arrangement, maybe ascending order, right? All right. So finally, if I pass this input, our objective can get this output as a sorted element, right? Okay. That means currently we are applying the ascending order, means the smallest number first, and, and then, then big, then big, then, then big, big, and then, right? Right. The objective is that. So how we achieve that, right? Right. So let us think. Uh, if uh, uh, we have this number, number five. Okay, so mm -hmm. we have to find out uh, here. This this is the first position of an uh, element. Okay, correct. And correct. This is your last position of an element, right? Exactly. So our objective is that whatever the biggest number, go to the last place, right? Yeah. What is the biggest number in this uh, array? That must be go to the last place, right? Mm -hmm. So first we are going to find out ki what is the biggest number between this uh unit and push it the last place, right? Okay. Push the last place because we know in the ascending order, last element would be the biggest one, right? Okay. So how so that's mean that's when we are going to compare first and last? Hmm. Let's let's understand. Okay. Yeah, how we're comparing. Okay? okay. The objective is that in bubble sort say just read one by one element, one by one element, whatever the biggest number, just push mm -hmm. from here to here. Okay. Uh, so okay. in this example, like first we have a five and three, right? So we are comparing five with the three. So okay. in five and three, which is the biggest number? Five. Five. Yeah. So yeah. we have to push five this place mm -hmm. and three this place uh, now okay, we are pushing good. five your biggest go to the next place right mm -hmm. now other is a six seven and two right All right so now here again i have a six seven two so now again we say that now we have this is the five but we have to again compare to the next element first we compare five to first position to the second position right now right. i am comparing to the second position to third position right so this right. five to six mm -hmm. is five greater than or less than? You can say five uh, is a greater than, five is, right? Yeah, five is less than six. Less than yeah, six. five is less than, not greater. So we don't yeah. need to swapping. Don't need to shift, right. right? Yeah. Then again, jump to from here to here. Now we right. have to compare. Is six greater it's than less seven? Less. It still no. say no. Six is not greater than seven. So don't right. push anything. No. Again, go to this. Compare this again. This compare to the last element, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And here you compare. You find oh, seven is the greater than the two. Then we have to shift. Then seven should be here and two should be here, right? Okay. So in this way, if you run three, five, six, six and seven, and so seven, finally, yeah. what objective we have meet? This last digit is the maximum digit. Right. So bubbles are to say he just compare first position value to the second position. And if he found biggest, just swap them. Again, compare to this position to the this position. If he found biggest, compare them. Again, for compare this, again, compare this. And whenever you reach the last, last position, you reach the reach the maximum. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. 
टिल नाउ एनी कंफ्यूजन व्हाट द बबल थॉट से कि आई एम गोइंग टू कंपेयरिंग फर्स्ट पोजीशन टू द सेकंड पोजीशन राइट इफ फर्स्ट पोजीशन इज ग्रेटर देन वैल्यू देन आई स्वैप द वैल्यू राइट चेंज द वैल्यू राइट राइट अगेन आई एम कंपेयरिंग फर्स्ट पोजीशन टू द सेकंड पोजीशन इफ दिस पोजीशन ग्रेटर देन देन आई स्वैप इट अगेन कंपेयरिंग दिस लाइक बबलिंग लाइक हियर बबलिंग दैट बबलिंग 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 right so this is the concept we are going to understand ki how we okay so in so the selection in the selection uh, we are putting at the beginning uh yes selection start you first identify the first position and figure out what is the smallest and put here right 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 like the second position you identify what is the next smallest put here right right mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. here we are getting one element and comparing to the all one, right? Right. And finding which is the minimum, right? Then yeah, swap, yeah. Right? Okay. So this is different uh, in nature because that one right. we are comparing one with all. Right. Uh, here we comparing just one with the nearest. One nearest. with the nearest. Next. One with Next the nearest. Week. One with yeah, the nearest. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So let uh, write the code like uh, white. I think void double sort right. It's take uh, input your array of number right. Mm -hmm. Right. And let's uh, here pass your array of input. Maybe input be I assign some value right. Let's assign four nine. Uh, Three, six, eight, one, two, right? Might be any number, right? Mm -hmm. So, just print. Arrays dot twisting. Just print the number. This is the input. Mm -hmm. Your input, right? right? And now we have to call this sort function mm -hmm. and pass our input. And expectation is that again get the output. Output should be like a sorted array. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. and right. Yeah. Here should be your input, right? If you run. We are getting the same element as we are putting this element, right? There is no any arrangement, right? Other way, line eleven, all the way in to just array dot to string. It would be input or output, you say? Just this is the number we are uh, printing here, output. and output. That, passing this array to this sort function. This sort function responsibility to arrange the number in order. Once okay. this is done, and after that again print this number, it should be the sorted, right? Okay. So currently, your input and output both are the same because here oh, yes. we have not written any logic to sort, right? Nothing yet. Yes. Till now, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So let's keep up now. We are going to write our yeah. algorithm. Yeah. Okay. So our yeah. objective is that we have to compare this first element to the second element, right? Right. And if first element is less than, then we have to swap the value, right? Right. Similarly, this position to this position, now this mm -hmm. position to this position, this position right. to this position, this position right. to this position. Yeah. So finally, whenever you compare all element, you mm -hmm. find at the last place would be your biggest number nine. Okay. Right. So here should right. be like a four, uh, three, three, and whatever number. Right. Eight, so let's do nine, nine, first. Yeah. Let's try to do one pass. This is the That's one. Mm -hmm. But okay, mm -hmm. so let's see how we compare first element to second element, right? Right. So we already know first element means zero position. This is the one position, right? right. Zero position, yeah. Zero position, one, one, zero position, position. one position. We are going to compare. Similarly, right. one position to two position. Similarly, right. two to three, three to right. four. These are the right. number, but also I have a fixed position, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So let us run loop one for. Let's start from zero. Zero. Yeah. J. S. Ten. 
J is less than plus 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 so a dot length is like our uh, length of that uh, this length input. is the here length one two three four yeah. five six yeah. length yeah. would be the six okay okay the okay. length would be the six. six so length would be the six so we have to run loop from this is the zero means right. zero position then yeah. one position then two position then three position then four then five yeah. Yeah. I, whenever go to the six this condition will go false right right so because this is the sixth element, your element, right? Exactly. Right? Yeah. So our indexing of array start from this. This is the zero position, right? This is mm -hmm. the zero position. This right. is your one position. This right. is your two position. This is your three position. This is your mm -hmm. four position. Mm -hmm. And this is your five position, right? Yeah. So this loop run for, we are going to compare one by one with all, right? Right right so let's uh, so how to compare first position to second position so let's uh, write the logic uh, if 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 yeah if a, if else yeah let's a, uh, is, a of uh, j that means zero a of j that means zero position value right really less than a of j plus one right uh -huh, uh -huh. right Right. You are going to check the zero position value, zero position value is greater than or not, right? Less than, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, less than or not. If 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 first number is smaller and greater than this is the bigger, that means we have to don't do anything, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, leave that one as it is. So that means we have to write condition like uh, this if greater than hmm. this value, zero position value is greater than the next position value, right? then then it is going to interchange then yeah. we are going to the so here in the case of this is the zero position value four right zero right. position value four right four. and one position value nine nine right so i'm comparing yeah. zero position value that means your four is greater than nine no nine. in this case our condition should be false so we have don't do anything right uh -huh. all right so once we are comparing now next next what objective we are going to comparing this nine two three right right so nine is your one position value and this is your two position value like a three yeah. right 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 so next time you compare this value four no, sorry nine three. nine is, is greater, greater than, than three two. yes condition true that means we have to shift this number to here and this number to here okay so that they are going to the push here. The now this place would be the nine. This place would be the three. Achha. Our objective is whatever the maximum number going to push mm -hmm. at the last. Right. Right. Is it clear? It yes. Is. So, so one thing. Whenever I want let's, to let uh, here mm -hmm. one example. I already explain you. Let's. This is the four. This is the nine and this is the three right so right. here let you see the greater than with this right so we have to swap so we have to put this value to here so how to put and how to back put here so we mm -hmm. have to take one swapping algorithm we have to take one temporary variable put this nine first to here right yeah right yeah and whatever this going to take... to push here. now this is okay. become a three and whatever mm -hmm. this nine value i push back to here right uh -huh. correct yeah. swapping algorithm already know how to swap the two yeah, position yeah. of an array right yeah here we are mm -hmm. going to apply the swapping algorithm just shifting from here to here right okay yeah because if you are not taking third variable if you copy three to here nine would be the last right correct so yeah. first we have to store the nine and so that key nine can be placed here right right so here we are yeah. going to apply the swapping algorithm right mm -hmm. here say let's key uh one let's uh temporary space and whatever the this is the greatest value we just hold right this is the great value this is yeah. hold it right and That's we right. can say at the greatest position at the greater positions put the this is the small value All right put the small value right mm -hmm. 
and once this done again say you now this position you can put the status value right this logic is clear what we are doing yeah no it is not yeah. clear to me okay let's understand this is uh, our number like uh, this is the zero position yeah. this is the one position this is yeah. the two position okay so yeah. here currently four here yeah. nine here three three so whenever mm -hmm. we reach this comparing this to this right yeah, our correct. condition with two, right mm -hmm. this condition become true because mm -hmm. one position greater than the two position value right Right. One point value greater than. So our objective is that we have to take one temp variable. We take one temp uh -huh. variable t here, right? Uh -huh. And say store the value of a. I miss this big number. I store uh -huh. here nine, right? Right. Done. And we can say at this place is put the new value a of j plus one. Now at this place we have to put what the value of three place here, right? Here uh -huh. we are placing the three, right? Right. This is done. Now say ki whatever the a of this position, a of three, right here. Mm -hmm. Put this t, t the nine, nine, nine put here. Right? So finally you are swapping this is the three and this is the nine. That's a... confusion. No. I got you. Anis. Little, little better. What is confusion? Again ask. Uh it is not confusing, but like I was thinking, mm -hmm. uh, just like for the integer t, that is like uh, that is the uh, what's called the temporary uh, temporary space because space uh, he, he, let's this is the two place nine, right? Here this is the nine, right? Here uh -huh. this is the three. You want right. to place three here right. and nine here. The whole do. Oh, that's a swipe. Okay. If we'd like to swipe, then we have to take another bucket. Yeah. Like if, another... if I pass this three here, then mm -hmm. I lost the nine value. Right. Then oh, how yeah. I put the nine here, right? Right. So I say if before here, this is the line we are copying. This is right. the nine value copied to the three places. I'm getting right. before three going cop here, first store the value in the nine somewhere, right? Right. So this is the copy here, and one copy done, nine three. Now this is the place to here, right? Achha, achha, achha. Right? Right. This is swapping the two by loop, right? All right. Right. Is it uh, better? Let's uh, let's uh, let this is the uh, let's run this loop. Okay. Huh. And Excellent. check the our output, right? Okay. System that let's check what the output. Whenever I run this, okay, the our objective is that the maximum number that go to the last place, right? Mm -hmm. So let's uh, uh, press out, print some value. This is the j mm -hmm. become a zero, right? Right. And what is the value of aj? AJ mm -hmm. equal to let's plus AJ. All right. And then what is the value of J plus one? All right. Plus one. And then it is a swapping log. It is clear, right? That swapping one, I got it. But like system dot r dot print line number seventeen. So now we are going to just change something. No, just I want to printing the way this working. This oh, is just oh, for okay. understanding what is the value okay. of i when they are going to the changing the value, right? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, but Ajay, bhai, uh, yeah. do you actually need the s out inside the method because you already no. have a s? Out. No, not not needed. Not needed. Okay. Yeah, this just is line number twenty four. Right. I'll just just I want to explain how it's work, right? Okay, this okay. line both not needed. I'll remove it, right? Okay. Just whatever this value of i and j, what this value, just I'm going to explain, it, right? Key, what it is, right? Okay, okay, got it. Got it. And this is the, in this code, there is one problem. Just I want to explain key, what is the problem, why I'm writing here. Because whenever mm -hmm. you run code, it will fail. 
right uh, so i am just try to understand you visualize ki what is the problem currently whenever i run code now this will fail why fail i want to explain right 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 what happened let's assume why fail i explain it try to whenever you run this loop notice we are running till zero position one position two position three position four and five right mm. all right right so here we have a starting j0 this is the zero position we are comparing to the j plus 1, right? j plus 1 means 1. You are comparing to this, right? Is it okay? Yeah. Again, you say next loop go, j become 1, right? Now 1. Mm -hmm. Now this value, mm -hmm. 1 position value, 1 position value, I'm going to compare it to the 2. Plus 1 means next, right? Any doubt? Again, again, I become when J, we, this place you compare it to the this, right? Next time this place compare it to the this. Whenever last time you push this compare it to the this. Uh, once you reach the five place, then you are go going to again compare it to the next plus one. Notice here. Notice. Oh, okay, okay. So here, uh, what happens is whenever j become j become a five, right? Five. Here, condition true five less than six, right? Condition length, true. Length minus one. Ah, so just try to. So whenever you say a of okay. five last position value, we are going to again this code say a of j plus one. That means we are going to comparing the fifth position value, fifth position value with the sixth position value, right? But there is no any sixth position value, right? Correct. So this line will throw exception at the last whenever j become a five. So, so whenever I am going to compare this element to this, this to this, this to this, this to this, at uh, this to this, at that time we have to stop. We don't go again compare this to this, right? Correct. If I run this code, it will fail. Right? Uh, something missing. Okay. Okay. It should be here. Yeah. Right? Uh, S out. Sister line seventeen. The first bracket. Closing bracket. No closing bracket space. Oh. One minute. I say J. What is the value of J? We print here. A of J value. A of uh, J value we are printing here. Again, here. Oh, this is a missing one. Plus yes. here. Not inside. Right? So this is the string plus this value, string plus this value. This is just concatenation. So if you run, we are getting some exception, right? Notice here. Right. Say index six out of bound. Mm -hmm. So till now we, we notice here whenever whenever zero positions, right? We are going to compare with zero position to the one position, right? Right. Here compare ne, whenever next loop, next loop, J1. You are comparing one position value to the two position, right? When Number three, you are comparing two to the three. Whenever you reach four, four comparing to the five, it's okay. After that, whenever you become a five here, right? You are going to comparing five to six, and six check is no six available. Right. So this loop must be something minus one, right? Because you are plusing here one, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Any confusion? Uh, can we, uh, instead of minus one, we can also put an equal sign, right? Uh, let's try. Why not? 
Okay. If you notice, this is the first value four. We are comparing. Notice comparing four to four to nine. It's false. Mm -hmm. You compare three, two, true, 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 and finally here, right? Mm -hmm. So here, first we have to solve our this error problem because we are running right. loop on this, right? Right. So how to solve? There's a two option. Uh, yes, uh, Riyadh, are you trying to say? Uh, on line uh, sixteen, we can instead of minus one, we can put an equal sign and equally run. Still, you think our length have this is the six in array have a six position value or not? You think uh, no six, no six, then why you are going to say equal to six? Okay. It's not work because this actually your element is zero to five, right? This is the element, right? Right, right, right. Surely we cannot go equal here because equal means six, uh, there is no right. six index in the data, right? right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's clear. The so surely yes. we cannot go with the equal. Then oh, we have okay. to option just say minus one. Why? Because we manually here we plusing one, right? He go uh -huh. to y plus. This first portion go to compare next, right? The so next means plus one, right? You're but right. here you reach last. At last time there is no plus one, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So due to whenever you before last one one more, you run loop less than one. Don't mm -hmm. go to the last. Go to this be before one, right? So whenever it is here, you can compare to the here, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Got it. Yeah. Let's see here, right, guys? Set number. Yeah. Not setting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, whenever you do minus one, you are not getting any exception, right? Mm -hmm. so here we are printing. This is the zero position value. You are just uh, comparing uh, this. Uh, a of uh, zero percent value is uh, okay. Let's run. So you are notice at least we are not getting any kind of error, right? No. Now, now let's understand problem. Whenever we go to the zero position, that is J zero. J zero have a four value. Four and one, right? We are going mm -hmm. to the comparing less than the, this four, right. eight and nine, say false, right? Right. So we are not swapping number, right? Number is still same, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Let me give you right. The first time whenever comparing this to this, right? Mm -hmm. I did this nine. It's say false. Don't do anything. Mm -hmm. We are not mm -hmm. swapping number. Our array should be the same, right? Right, right. Now our J becomes zero to one. Right up next number. Next means ki one position value compared to the two position value, right? Means ki this value right. are comparing to the this, right? This is a nine right. comparing to the three. Nine mm -hmm. less than three, it's a two. Right? Mm -hmm. right. Two means we are going to the swapping the number. Right. That means three value must be here and nine value must be here. The so notice here. Right. So three value here. Nine somewhere go to different place, right? Right. So our objective three must be there, and nine must be here, right? Right. So here, what happened? Uh, yeah, right, right. Once you mapping map here, three here and nine here, right? It's correct, right? All right. All right. Is it yeah. correct? Yeah. They see the one position value. This is a two position value. I swapping three go to the one person. Three point one person mm -hmm. and nine mm -hmm. become here, right? Right. The till now could doubt? No. Yes. Now good. we swipe this number. Again, go to the next loop. J become mm -hmm. a two, right? Two means I compare two no, position no. to the three position, mm -hmm. right? Right. Two position value have a nine. 
right? This is the nine. A three position value of eight. This is mm -hmm. nine, and this is eight, right. Mm -hmm. so we are comparing, but right, it's still mm -hmm. true. Yes, it is all true. Then we have to swap again, right? We are mm -hmm. swapping the number, right? We are swapping. Right. Say now, here should be this and sorry, this nine become eight and become nine, right? So here, notice eight go okay. before and nine become later. Similarly, right. the next. So instead of let's key, go here one by one. Let's run loop one time. Mm -hmm. then, then what happens? No, that would be different. No. Whenever you run one time loop, one time mm -hmm. you find. Mm -hmm. One time. Oh, you only run one time. Hello. Ajib. Hello. Ajib, what can I say? What can I say? Ajib. It it can hear you. Extra message there, there. Oh, like Ajib, we cannot hear you. I have a put a video that put a yellow logo. I have and so video must be in Oh, Uriki, Uramane computer Shamosha. No, net that one down is net is net is net is Shamosha only offline. Thank you. Ask the Babu Shoshi, let us say. Huh. Balik. Video like a Video on the chess. I say, uh, Mark. Hello, Ojibe. Yeah, Ojibe. Yeah, we are disconnected I... due to the internet, is right? Oh, I see. Yeah. So, our video is our video is gone. Uh, I think it should be uh... still recording going on. I think. No, it's recording is going on, but uh, it's still if it is going on, that's good. Otherwise, uh, it's okay. Okay. Mm. Uh, now my screen is visual. Is still not yes, not yet. In yes, it is coming now. Yeah. Are you able to see my IntelliJ idea? Uh, yes. But yes. it's small. Now it's coming. Yeah. So it's still recording going on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do I know this recording going on? Uh, if cannot... you notice here. Yeah, that is all the in the top you see. This is the symbol now. Oh. Nah? Mm -hmm. The call oh, is the, the party. Oh, no, the no. red. Okay, okay, the red one. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. Got it. Got it. Don't, don't worry. I'll hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So till now, I am trying to say ki, uh, we are this running loop till one to five. So whenever mm -hmm. we are j first time zero. That time mm. this condition is a false, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Because why false? This is not greater than nine, right? Mm -hmm. but till now we are not swapping the number. Same output as a previous, right? Right. Now we are going to the next loop. Now J become plus plus. Now good let's look two times. Mm -hmm. So in two times, what are you doing? Now we are comparing this one position to the two position, right? Mm -hmm. Nine and three, it's a true, right? Nine mm -hmm. greater than two, right? 
9 yeah. greater than 2 yeah. then here right yeah. so now we are going to swipe the number notice this position value at uh, this position going to swipe here right now mm -hmm. 3 and 9 9 right 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 set because we are swiping right. condition true mm -hmm. so now we run zero time one time now let's go to increase one more time right okay one by one just i am running the loop right mm -hmm. So now I'm going to the third line. So till now, this is the right place. So okay. in, in one loop, we are right, this is the right ball, right? Mm -hmm. Now whenever go to the two times, two means key, we are going to compare two value with the three, right? Mm -hmm. Two place have a nine value and three place have a eight value, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So it's still greater than, yes, it's still true, right? right? So we have to swap. So we have to swap, notice. 8 to 9. Now here swapping, right? Now right. we are saying this go to the here and this go to the here, right? So that is right. done. That is okay. done. Yeah. Go to the again one more extra loop. So here say let's go to the fourth loop, right? right. So till now. It's done. Our now go to the third position. Third position have a nine value. Going to compare with the fourth position, six value. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. We are going mm -hmm. to compare nine to six. Right? It's still true. Then we have to swap the number. Down this should be six for a nine paper. Notice six come here and nine become here. Right? Achha. So nine become here. Right? right. So and right. last whenever like uh, loop five. Right? Five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, did, did, till now, this three, nine here, right? We are going to compare fourth value. Fourth position value, nine, right? Comparing mm -hmm. to the five. Five is the two. Then comparing, mm -hmm. then swapping, right? Because the condition true, right? Right. So, whenever one time loop, we saw key our maximum go to the last. Mm -hmm. Right? Notice. Whenever we done loop, our maximum number go to the last. Right. Maximum right. Right. This is our yeah. objective. This is our right. initial That's objective. Whatever we have array of element, whatever we have array element, we are going uh -huh. to compare with this to this. If this is the bigger, then swap it, right? Then exactly. compare with this to this. Yeah. Is bigger, swap it. Compare with this, compare with this. Once you reach last, you notice the biggest number will come here last place. Right. This is the one way. So you have completed. If I just comment this code completely, that's not needed, right? Mm -hmm. Not needed. And if you run, you notice we have just running loop that will just one pass start this nine is the maximum place, right? Mm -hmm. So till now, what we did, we compare to this, this, this. This mm -hmm. and whenever this, you read the last. Similarly, again, I do the same. This, 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 and this. Then notice the next. The same, I have to repeat, repeat for the same. Mm -hmm. Whatever till now we did, we did for this last position, right? Right. So we have not done the whole array, only no. the last. Right. About this. Yes. Oh, I need a message to see. Again, hang. Oh, no, no. Yes. Yeah. It was. Uh, yeah. Actually, there are some problems going on my side. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. So till now, what we did, we have to did for your one position, right? Right, right. Because we have run this loop, this loop run and give me the only the one one time we bubbling. Here we are bubbling this, 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 this. We get the latest last one, right? Mm -hmm. Again, again. I do the same, then we have to get the next biggest. 
मैक्सिमम If you repeat mm-hmm. the same activity, I am getting the next eight maximum here. Okay. Okay. But I have a question. Ah uh, yes. Ah, uh, is the loop is going to check the last position also nine? Not. We are not no. going to check this last one. This is okay. the logic. Yeah, right. Because okay. last position already the maximum, right? The next time right. we run the loop till here, boss. Ah okay, okay, okay. Okay. So if you notice, let's keep. I I am going to same copy paste code again here. Let's see. I do again here, right? And I am say that now you go to the again not minus one, just minus two place, less than one, right? More. <laughs> same activity you do. Hmm. I see. So here, let's print out the array. Okay, and let's do print here. Mm-hmm. Same thing I say to do again for me. Whatever we did here, I'm say same thing did for again to me. Just mm-hmm. not the last till one more minus one, like two, like not one. Mm-hmm. Whatever let's. Uh, oh sorry. Clear. I'm not going to till last. One more minus, right? Okay. If you run, you are noticing. We are able to do it the two more the place. Notice now this and two place, right? Yeah. Okay. Eight and nine. Whenever okay. this loop run, we are getting the maximum here. Right. Whenever right. next time uh, we copy same code again, say ki run till minus one. You notice this is the maximum here got got. Oh, uh, right. it is last. Okay. Because same thing we are doing comparing here to okay. here. Uh-huh. Here to here, eight max. Comparing swap, swap, and finding eight come here, right? Uh-huh. Right. Right. So uh, let's see. I want to first next. Or similarly, you I do for one more. Let's okay. assumption uh-huh. three, not length one, three more, right? Not do the last. Uh-huh. The same thing I am repeating multiple time, just trying to avoid. Notice this is also getting the right place. All right. So this is not a good way. Just copy paste code multiple time, right? Let's That's go to the next, right? Sure, sure, sure. Right. So, so why not this loop? Loop. Ah. So loop. instead of notice, first time you do, we get the maximum, right? Right. Next time I compare, get the next maximum. Right. Right. Next right. time I compare, get the next maximum. Next right. time compare, I get the next maximum. Mm-hmm. Next time compare the, we'll compare then get and then get. Mm-hmm. So in whole code, what we are you doing? We are just copy paste this code, and just saying that run just minus one. You say just mm-hmm. minus one instead of four. Run minus one. Right. 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 We are just ensuring that our loop is run less one because whenever first time we run, we get the maximum, right? Right. Next time your loop should be less than one here, till, right? This is the next mm-hmm. maximum. Mm-hmm. Next mm-hmm. time loop should be less next maximum. Right. Next time loop should be next 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 maximum, right? Mm-hmm. right. Is it clear? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So instead of writing the same code multiple multiple time, why not write the same in a loop, right? All so right. I am going to just remove all the things. Why unnecessary doing, right? Right. Exactly. I'd not needed it. Not mm. needed, right? No. Because 
वी हैव ऑल इट आवाज कैसे गया हां ये वे लाइन डिस्टर्ब इंटरनेट डिस्टर्ब ट्रू तो वो है ना इंटरनेट की अलाइन्ड अलाइन्ड नहीं चलोगे अलाइन्ड अलाइन्ड बेल अलाइन्ड बेल अलाइन्ड ओ चलो मोनोपोली मोनोपोली बिजनेस हाँ हम क्या लासे हमी ये अलाइन्ड यूज़ करता हूँ यस राइट वी आर सेइंग दिस कोड नाइ वी आर राइटिंग वन लूप and think this code should be my loop not my i am not going to copy multiple time right mm -hmm. i am right. cut this code i am saying can you write in a loop right here mm -hmm. i here say ki whatever things just minus here right if this mm -hmm. is the zero minus zero this is the one then minus one two minus two three minus two right yeah it is too much yeah like Again and again, we are going to just like copy that code. So here, our this code do for every time. Right. Let's get this is the here print like a uh, I. So it should be right. Uh huh. Oh, so once oh, this oh. loop run for one zero, you get the sort. Then mm -hmm. I plus plus for the. And if you run instead of. so what uh, i am saying whenever mm -hmm. i run into the loop mm -hmm. right this code is clear this code say ki whenever run till length minus 1 you are getting the mm -hmm. maximum in the last place uh -huh. right yes, but right. similarly do for the till all the length right uh -huh. so i just repeat it and it will work for all notice whenever you run top loop zero you are getting the maximum in the last place right right next time loop 1 uh -huh. we run less than loop here till and getting the maximum right right whenever next time we run loop less and get the maximum uh -huh. next time loop get maximum right. next time loop get maximum and now finally last time don't do so you are getting the data either sorted or uh -huh. mm. okay it's called bubble so, sort Yes, bubble say just compare first to the second, second with the third, third with the fourth, fourth the five, five, and try to any max number just swapping this, swapping it. max come with the last, right? Okay, right, right. Similarly, do for the next. Similarly, do for the next. Got it. So here we are just trying here bubbling first position to the next position, right? And if right. first position, then just swap the number. Right. So whenever first time do you get the last time. Similarly, say mm. you why not do for this in multiple time. Manually mm. I copy one time, two time, three time, four time. It would be good just to loop for me, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So here I don't know the number of length. Let me someone say here right like a uh, one more number like one might be someone like a five, right? Right. So how many right. number of code I'm going to copy paste, right? Your length is increased, right? So here say go to the length. and do it it will works for me for any number of length right 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 they right. are doing the multiple times mm -hmm. and sharing the sorted element mm -hmm. right might be someone mm -hmm. increase the length right let someone increase the length like seven right sure if we are going to manually copy paste code multiple time multiple time i don't know the length of element how many time we are going to the copy right right The best option say ki whatever the number number of length just run this loop in the code 
mm. this code inside a till length, right? Right. And whenever we're running loop first times, we are looping run till length minus one. This is the length till round, right? This is a loop running, right? This right. is the minus one, right? And next time, next time they become I1, then you run one more line, minus one more, right? Next time mm -hmm. you run till loop, right? This. Next time till this, right? Next time till this. Mm -hmm. so always mm -hmm. we are here doing minus, right? Minus mm -hmm. I. Because we know whenever first time run loop, maximum become a last place, right? Mm -hmm. True. So is it uh, understand ki how we are doing bubble sorting? I got it. I got you. Yeah. yeah. So you have to think just for one element. OK? If you are able to one for, similarly, just re say compiler, repeat for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The top loop just re doing the same logic multiple times. Right. I hear notice this logic is only to finding the maximum element at the last place. You are finding the maximum ele element and pushing to the last. Mm -hmm, notice. Mm -hmm. So by default, this sort become a bubble sort ascending order. Mm -hmm. Ascending, okay, yeah. Ascending order. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. And now this code is not needed, just remove it, right? Mm -hmm. right? And this is your only logic, right? Right. And if you run, you are getting data in ascending order. Mm -hmm. Right? Ascending order, yeah, exactly. And someone want to descending order. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to do any starting, just change the condition, right? Sure. So if you just co copy paste this code mm -hmm. and just say this in ascending or descending order, right? Someone say, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So just change this condition. That's right. This is the only change the condition. Mm. Now we are shifting smallest is the last place. And just the smallest is the descending order. Oh, descending order. Okay. So in this case, the smallest will go to the last. Right. Mm. Notice this is the descending order, this is the ascending order. Okay. Ascending means key incrementing order. Descending mm. means decrementing order, right? Decrementing, yeah. Right. So in case of increasing, decreasing, just decide on the basis of comparing. You are comparing what, right? Right. So this condition right. decide you are doing go, going to do incre incrementing or decrementing. So in the both code, only change this condition this is the right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you are first deciding the greater that means greater go to the last that means key ascending order here you're deciding the less than less than go to the last that means descending order right mm, right so any confusion how we are doing sorting bubble sort this is one algorithm bubble sort similarly started we discussed the selection sort right right Okay, selection sort. Selection sort. Right. Yeah. And this is the bubble sort. Mm -hmm. So, bubble sort says just whatever the number you have, right? Yeah. Just comparing one to the next position. Okay. Right? This simply mm -hmm. say whatever we have a number, let's compare to the next one. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. And if you are going to the ascending order, that means if you found bigger, if this is the bigger, mm -hmm. then swipe it, right? Right. Go here. If bigger, then swipe it. Else, mm -hmm. comparing with each element, right? Mm -hmm. One by one. One by one here. Until mm -hmm. here, right? And whenever mm -hmm. you go one time, one time, mm -hmm. maximum number become a last, right? Mm -hmm. But you are finding only one element, but we have to find all the elements. The similarly work we have to do for again do 
bubbling, 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 bubbling till length one, right? Yeah. Again, we comparing bubbling, bubbling, bubbling till length one. Again, mm. comparing bubbling, bubbling till length. Again, comparing n glass. So finally, you find all the data in sorted order because each time we are finding one maximum at the last place, right? Right. Yeah. So let's explore maybe in a copy pane or something how this loop works. Okay. But but it's a very simple thing, just need the practice, right? Understanding. Yeah. True. It's not only complex logic, right? We are True. just comparing two elements, and if this number greater than then swap it, right? Mm -hmm. At this doing for the all element, right? We True. are this thing, this is the array of element. So what we are doing? We are comparing first and next number, comparing first and number. If something mm -hmm. true, then swapping the number. Mm -hmm. But this this comparing first two number and swapping, this should be in the loop because we have other element, other element. So mm -hmm. we are in this loop, right? Mm -hmm. This loop for just this is your actual logic, right? Right. But this would run for all the element, right? Mm -hmm. This is all element. So due to that, mm -hmm. this is the loop. So whenever so, this loop done for all element, you get the one maximum to the last, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right? Similar work I want for uh, other places as well. This place, this place. So I say this is the top loop. Top loop say whatever the, this thing do for the main loop, right? Right. So they yeah. are doing for same thing for each position. This position, then this position, then this position, then this position, right? Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Right? Yes. So let's, a uh, uh, good option, you will take copy paint paper and just do this output on the, okay, how they are first comparing this and then this, then this, then this, then this, then this, and again loop, again loop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? So you will uh, get clear understanding about this loop. Right? Okay. Yeah. Good option. You have to just do on a dry run this on a copy paper. Maybe any selection sort, right? Achha. Right. So yeah. that you should aware ki first loop what happened, next loop what happened. Here I am mm -hmm. just trying to explain with a complete loop, right? Ki what mm -hmm. happened in the first loop, then second loop, then third loop. It is easy to hear uh, explaining. But whenever you might be not exact understand what you like, right? This is the, mm -hmm. my understanding, what I'm explaining. My understanding not becoming your understanding until you are not doing, right? True. Right. And until right. you not make your understanding, this is not any makes sense. Mm -hmm. Listening is not your understanding, right? No, no, no. Okay. Is, uh, not your understanding. Ajay, bhai, can you can you scroll up like the last? 100% so, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So, oh, so the lines 18. So the loop is starts from zero, mm. but you are you're doing the minus. First is zero, one minus zero. Right. Okay, then one, then two, zero. Okay. Why uh, here we're minusing? Because whenever first time loop run, we are mm -hmm. no last element done, right? The next mm -hmm. time just do minus one. This is now it become plus plus one i. So we are minusing one. Means next time we're running loop till only this, right? Mm -hmm. Next time right. we're running till only loop this, right? Next time till mm -hmm. only this, right? Right. This this so, are deciding factor. So, how many number so, of loop going to run? Always we are not. If you let's uh. I paste this is the loop out loop. Let's see. And this uh, I. Mm -hmm. I. Okay. If I equal to zero, then you are doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So till now. Oh, 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 what happened? Plus. I plus, I plus. While explaining, I forget what I'm writing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So notice here, our data is as expected. For each loop, we are doing something. What happened if here I'm not doing minus? 
here what is the i minus i means first time you are minusing one means keep run till loop here right run till mm -hmm. loop here next mm -hmm. time i say ki i one means loop run till only minus one means ki just minus one right mm -hmm. minus two means run this three means minus again minus again minus mm -hmm. so here we are minusing first time zero means complete loop right mm -hmm. then one minus two minus if not minusing that means what is always for each loop run till length minus one means five time right mm -hmm. okay if you notice so you are, you are subtracting even though the i is a positive yeah. number at the uh -huh. uh, yeah of that for loop uh -huh. uh, but when it comes here it's a negative number like you're so you notice key might be uh, so this is the only logic right why we are writing here okay good unnecessary why you are comparing the whole length you already know this is a start if you do you are getting the your output is correct there is no problem right mm -hmm. if you're doing your output always correct but unnecessary you are doing comparison if there is no problem in output right mm -hmm. but your extra number of comparison logically whenever let's see this is the seven times okay Mm -hmm. I know till now these all are the sorted, right? Right. Right. Still, you are comparing with this, still comparing to this, comparing to this, comparing to this, comparing to this. Why you are comparing with you already know I done this is the last right? last one, right? Mm -hmm. So the main uh, reason is why we are uh, minusing because whenever first time you're comparing all the elements, it's good part, right? But next time again you are comparing all why? Because these two always you know it's uh, always this is the greater, right? Next time you go again you comparing all you know this is already started, right? Mm -hmm. Why unnecessary you are doing this comparison if condition? So we are just avoiding unnecessary comparing this to this, this to this, this to this. Because logically we know the first time you do the this is the last one, last the maximum. Mm -hmm. Next time I am going, why going comparing to the last one, right? Because mm -hmm. last already I know this is the maximum one, right? Mm -hmm. so right? Logically we are reducing this loop so that they are not going to comparing all. If you write this code works, but only happen extra number of comparison happen. This is unnecessary, That's right? True. That not required, but it's still you are doing, right? Uh, now this one, uh, how does the this loop uh, know? Like uh, it 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 check once until nine nine, then how does the this loop starts again uh, on the beginning? Uh, which you one? Know? This one. Uh, Top loop. No, no, no. Uh, for loop, the uh, num line number eighteen. Uh, yes. So first time when it goes to the nine uh, with the result. Now, uh, how does the loop starts again? To, and okay. the loop knows that it is okay. used to think Notice, again. Uh, this is the code inside the loop. This is the part once this is done. Okay. Uh, mm. Once this is done, then this i become increment. What is the logic? First i zero, then condition check. Then they are going to execute this code till this is the loop code, right? This is the loop code, mm -hmm. right? Mm. Once this done, then control goes again back here and say I plus plus. Okay. I become again one. One again check condition. Right? Mm -hmm. Condition true, then become go to the here. Again loop doing the mm -hmm. same. Again oh, this okay. done, again go to the this and increment I plus plus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So this is the logic whenever this last line here is here from here. So whenever here go, this is a loop. So we have to, until your code not go outside of here, until you are not, this is condition false, right? Right. right. Always from here, control goes to the here and increment this. Increment this value I plus plus, right? Mm -hmm. And after that, the condition yeah. check, right? Oh, okay. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until this condition not false, control not come here. Right. Is it okay? Yeah, it's good now. Initially, we are written just code like this. And this is I want to loop. So I written inside a loop, right? This right. code should be in a loop till mm -hmm. condition this is a true, right? Mm -hmm. So logically, say just uh, this should be minus i. 
सो दैट की लॉजिकली वी आर रनिंग लेस कंडीशन लो राइट राइट so how to check ki how many number of time reduce let's give one just in, in, in increment by the counter let's see zero okay mm -hmm. and uh, uh let's give whenever this loop how many time loop let's see plus plus right let's okay and you yes. just press the uh c variable somehow plus plus c right you know ke the count loop in inner loop count inner loop count count okay. you can just explore for i zero then how many number of time loop chal uh, once this done again say uh, c equal to zero okay for each right right uh, might be here not needed it should be good it should be because there is not top right this is the so how many times this loop run if i am not writing Let's see. I am not minusing i. Then whatever, right? I am not mm -hmm. minusing i. Mm -hmm. And the number of time this loop run. So you notice for each number of top row, they are running eight times always, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Mm -hmm. Right. We are doing minus one, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So always they are comparing eight times. Right, so mm -hmm. it always, so yeah. always need to compare it at time. I'm saying no. Just do minus i because logically I know the last element is the maximum. Then why are you comparing, right? Mm -hmm. Right. If you run here, this inner loop run less number of time. Notice first time run it's eight time, right? Second time it's seven time. Then six time. Oh, okay. Then yeah, five yeah. time. Then four time. Then three time. Then two time. Then no need to run. Whenever mm -hmm. it was the last, there is no need to run because you already last element is the sorted element. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So due to that, we are just saving our time, unnecessary confusion. Output would be the same for both, but extra your loop going to run. Right. Right. Got it. Due to that, we say it just minus. And logically, it makes sense. If you are not writing this code, output both for the same. Output there is no problem, but extra loop going on unnecessary, right? Right. True. So let's. Uh, so this is your only code. This required only code to complete, right? Right. So let's. Uh, Uh, my uh, recommendation: Let's you try some small number like a uh, four five number and try to run this complete loop in a copy pane. Whenever i zero, then what happen till condition go? When i become, then what happen? And just copy pane, just writing one by line by line, right? Uh -huh. Right. Exactly understand how workflow look like. Whenever you listen, it's very simple. But whenever doing on a copy pane, you understand very uh, uncomfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. Sometimes one, two, three times you think boring. Why I am doing? But that make your understanding clearance. Sure. The way I do it is I I have one window open your uh -huh. video and I do it. If I get <laughs> stuck, I just I get some help. Okay, good. So I think uh, this is the good uh, for the day. Any doubt, confusion yeah. here? Now we have to just like uh, work with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, sure. So for ascending and descending, code is the same. Only this condition change. If right. condition, right? Yeah, code is the same. So right. let's right. stop the sharing. Sure.